Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel and specifically a video about not just data but hopefully some more rainbow mini boosts to get you to clear content better. I did a video, and good lord I've got all these alliance war boosts expiring, I did a video in which I talked about these boosts right here, you know, all these boosts that help me, especially with suicides, clear the arena faster, they help me clear Summer of Pain fights faster, Cavalier Event Quest fights, and they all come from the Solo Supreme Crystals that we're about to open here in this video. And I heard from a couple of you who said, Prof, I know that it may not get many views, but I appreciate that you talk about these because sometimes it inspires me to not only save up, uh, maybe not a hundred uh, of these because of course it's a million crystal shards worth, but uh, you save up enough of these to... to get your own boost maxed out to the point that you can use them and clear content. And, you know, I hear all the time, here's our first boost. Perfect example is, I hear all the time, Prof, you should make videos about how people can actually clear content faster and progress their account that are like beginners or maybe they're sort of on their way. Maybe they're trying to become conqueror, for example. Well, this is the kind of video for you. Because you're going to have a lot of snobs who say, oh, solo supreme crystals, they're a waste of time. Really, arena boosts are a waste of time. Boosts in general are a waste of time. Sig stones are a waste of time. And make no mistake about it, the six stones in these, especially the four stars, are designed to help people who are using four star champions, right? Not people like me who just look to max sig all their four stars so I can get double the five star shards when I open five stars to open, well, more five stars. Uh, but in general, this is to help people who need four stars. This is a perfect example of a crystal that I don't need, but this four star awakening gem crystal could really benefit somebody. And also four star awakening gem crystals used to be like 50 bucks back when a four star awakening gem could determine whether or not pre patch 12.0 Scarlet Witch was awakened, for example. And that is the first time we have seen that. I know you might not get excited about 4,500 tier 5 basic house rates, a 1% drop rate. Last time we opened 100, we did not get a single one of those or tier 2 alpha. And at the same time, uh, Kabam used to charge 100 bucks for that when it first came out, just kind of like tier 5 basic catalyst are right now. Thank God the game has evolved since then. But uh, what, what I'm saying about this is pretty simple, and that's that these crystals are really important. I think they're important to me. Like, I, I really do look at what boosts are expiring soon when I jump into trying to start that infinite streak off every Monday, Thursday, and even Sunday in the arenas. Uh, this is important when I'm doing something like the tier four basic arena that's out right now. And then on top of that, like I wish that these crystals had been available when I needed to rank up four stars because it would have been so much easier. I still can't believe I finally got the tier five basic uh, in a spinning crystal. If we get them at all, which is pretty rare, it's always on team pop. Now, of course, that statistically makes sense because we pop 90 after spinning 10. But it's nice to show what these crystals are and what the reels are. A lot of health boosts so far. No way! Never done that before. That is now 9,000 tier 5 basic catalyst fragments from these free crystals. Again, kabam, if you're Conqueror right now and you want 9,000 tier 5 basic catalyst fragments, they're going to say 50 to 100 bucks. Wow. I was shocked that happened once or less twice. Okay, well, we've already doubled that drop rate for per 100. Remember, again, let's look at the drop rates just so you know. Tier 5 basic, 1%. We've done it twice in 10 crystals. Right now, that 1% drop rate is 20%. All right, now we're going to pop 90 and see what happens. Uh, I, uh, this, these, these made my day. This crystal made my day. Even if we get nothing else of, of, you know, importance out of these last 90. That's, 9,000 is a lot. That's what, 20% of a tier 5 basic? 20%. And that's for not just $0, but in Solo Supreme Crystals. This is why these crystals can be so amazing. Now look at all the boosts. Yes, we got a ton of the rainbow boosts. We got 9 lesser champion. Uh, these two might be visual glitches, but maybe not. 21 of the attack and, and 19 of the health. All right. Now the question, two 20 percenters. Love that. We got a generic uh, four-star awakening gym. That's also a 1% drop rate. The usual suspect of arena boost, which are always appreciated. And then let's see, did we just stay at 9,000? 
Sure, let's love those. 9,000, or did we get more than that? Our record is about 9,000. Four, five star, six stones. Hey, that is incredible. So I actually formed a tier five basic thanks to these free crystals that the snobs are going to turn their noses up at. But you hardcore players that know the value of boost and arena boosts and especially uh, rank up materials, you're going to know the value of these. I also got another SIG on Hercules. This opening made my day. It may not get the clicks. It may just be for data, but it's not um, of any lesser importance than anything else that I open. Wow. Heck yeah. Kabam, thank you for bringing these Solo Supreme Crystals to the game. Absolutely love them, and I look forward to opening more in the next couple weeks once I've saved up another 1 million shards worth of these awesome crystals.